Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a swim try on, and uh, you know, it's a little out of my comfort zone. A lot of the stuff that I picked up from Good American, Skims, American Eagle, so I thought it'd be fun to try them on with you guys. But before we do that, I'm gonna talk about these patches. So, this portion of the video is sponsored by Derma Clara, and I have like full, you know, before and afters for you guys because I got these patches about a month ago, so I have been wearing them every single night, eight hours basically every night for the last 28 days. So as you guys know, I got a plus size tummy tuck last year, which obviously left me with a massive scar. I also, of course, have stretch marks on my belly and I even developed new stretch marks around my belly button. These patches are 100% medical grade silicone. That's what they are. They're basically pulling moisture to the surface of your skin. It helps reduce the appearance of scars and stretch marks and wrinkles. And you'll see a lot of pregnant women wearing them. I saw a ton of pregnant women wearing them. They also help before you get the stretch marks. They help as a preventative tool. Obviously, if you get pregnant, you know your belly's gonna stretch out. You can usually guess kind of where those stretch marks might be, so it might be something that you choose to wear. They are safe for uh, pregnant mothers. They're safe for you know breastfeeding and everything. Like They are safe for you to use because, again, they are just 100% medical-grade silicone. So these are Dermaclera's silicone fusion technology in these patches. It creates almost like this microclimate between the patch and your skin. Skin. So with this little microclimate, it promotes like collagen production. It enhances like hydration because you're kind of locking it in. Like my skin feels a little bit wet when I pull the patch off. And as a result of that, it's just promoting quicker healing and it just helps to reduce the appearance of like scars, wrinkles, stretch marks, etc. Because these patches stay very sticky. So I did use the patch prep. If I noticed that they were feeling a little bit less sticky kind of on the edges because they would sometimes like roll into my shirt or my shorts depending on what I was wearing to bed. I did use the patch prep on that. You don't put it on your skin, you put it on the patch itself and let it dry. I basically would like do it in the morning and then by nighttime it would be nice and dry. But I never did have a problem with the patches coming off or anything. And like I said, I've been using them every single day for the last 28 days and they're still sticky. I did also get a few other patches which I am gonna start testing on my face. I wanted to see how my skin was gonna react first before I went straight to my face. My skin's totally fine. These are non-irritating in any way, shape, or form. So of course, I have a code for you guys. You can go on Dermaclara and they have all of their like best-selling kits on sale, okay? So they're already on sale for 30% off. And then on top of that, if you use my code Sarah Ray, then you'll get an additional 20% off. They have all of their like best-selling kits and stuff. So you can decide if you just want to try the body ones or if you want to just try the face ones. So these are some of the ones that I have. So this one goes on your forehead. This one is under your eyes and around like your like smile lines here. That one I'm excited to try. I've never done anything for my little smile line. This one is for your neck. So they have other ones for your body as well, different different stuff. So if you're interested in trying it, feel free to go on that website and give it a shot. I purposely filmed the before and after so that you guys could decide on your own if you think that you see a difference. I really enjoyed wearing them because they're so easy. They're so easy to put on and take off and all I did was save the backing. Like they remain extremely sticky. They work, they're still working, they're still sticking, and they have been such an easy little addition. I mean, I just pop them on right before bed, right before I'm gonna get in bed, these bad boys go on. And first thing in the morning when I wake up, I take them off. And they're not just for your stomach, you can put them wherever. You can put them on your arm, or your legs, or you know, wherever. You can put them on different parts of your body. So I'm gonna wait 90 days and then kind of check back and see the, the difference from day one to 90, um, because I feel like that's a good amount of time to test them out. But like I said, I'm just shy of 30 days. You can use these 30 times over. They are clinically proven, dermatologist tested, hypoallergenic, they're cruelty free, they're vegan. I love that you can reuse them and reuse them and reuse them and reuse them and reuse them. Like it's it's great. They've been perfect. And like I said, my skin has been loving it. I've had zero issues. So if you guys want an update, you let me know. I can probably show it to you on like Instagram or something like that. On to the show. The audio is so much better over here. So I went on Good American and I ordered two different swimsuits and two different cover-ups, and it was a million dollars. I also ordered a pair of jeans from them, but that is neither here nor there, is it? Do you want to see the jeans on around? I also went on American Eagle and I ordered I think three or four swimsuits from them. I have historically had great success with Airy and American Eagle. Um, I find that Airy, like, you know, pre-surgery and all that, <laughs> Airy was very accommodating for me. The XXLs fit wonderfully. I find that their sizing is 
generous, especially when it, you are considering that it is a swimsuit, which swimsuits typically run smaller. So I think they have very generous sizing given, you know, that they only go up to an XXL. Some of my absolute favorites have been from Aerie. I have had great success with them. Even if you wouldn't buy the ones that I'm going to show you, just know that Aerie, I think, is a really good resource for swimsuits. And their suits are out and they're very cute. Um, I'm obviously, I'm still getting the same sizes now. I'm just getting different cuts. Because what's happening is that all of my high-waisted, like XXLs, 1Xs, etc., um, all of my high-waisted bottoms are now too open and loose in the back. And as you know, when you get into, if you have a loose swimsuit and you get into water, that loose swimsuit is now a moving swimsuit and it will release itself from your body. And if you've never had that experience, good for you, girl. We're not all that lucky. <laughs> Last place I ordered from was Skims. I, well, I already ripped it open, girl, but I haven't tried anything on. So let's just try stuff out together. This is just going to be chill, laid back. I will link whatever I can link. And I don't necessarily expect all of you guys to want to like wear these specific <laughs> suits because a lot of them are low waisted and stuff. But I thought maybe we could just hang, chat, and have a good time. Let's start with the skim set. So I did get this metallic-y rose one. Let me pop this bad boy on. Okay, well that was something. Um, let the roast session commence, my lovelies. So let's just start with the top before we really get into it. Uh, who's, who's this fitting? Who is this looking good on? Who, which skin color? A deeper skin color? You know what? Yes, I'm gonna say super pale. Probably not our best look. I don't love this either. It's kind of uncomfortable. You can't take it off, but then I'm worried. I'm worried because it's just like such tiny little bandeau situation. So I got this stuff in the 2X or 2X, 3X. I hate it. It fits. Don't get me wrong. So it does fit. Um, I think this is how it's supposed to fit. I just think it's not doing anything for me. I have the skirt on right now. <sighs> it's okay. Again, I think the colors are definitely not for me. And then underneath this, we're actually just, we're going to move this up because I'm afraid of how much uh, demonetization is gonna happen here. But underneath this, we have a like straight up bikini and it's an over the hip situation. Now it does cover a fair bit of the butt. Um, and it, you know, it's over my, like my butt crack and stuff. So my, my crack's not out or anything, but I'm thinking that it's not, it, this is not my best look, right? So let's acknowledge that and um, maybe just move on. She could be the one for one of y'all. I mean, overall, like quality wise, I'm not mad at it. It's a nice stretchy material. I like the design, generally speaking. I just don't think it's working for me. Okay, this one's kind of a good time. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's kind of a good time. The, the underwear are really, they're up there. Um, obviously this is not something I would have ever worn previously because I would have just had half of my stomach above and half of my stomach below and I wouldn't have felt comfortable especially actually sitting etc etc but they have other bottoms that you know are wider cut and go a little bit higher but like I said when I'm wearing those now my issue is that I have a huge gap above my butt you can kind of see so we're nice and flat in the back it's not a thong um, but you know, it's in thong territory. I love this top though. And I've seen lots of the plus size girlies wearing this top online. And I think it is definitely working for a lot of people. I will say if you have boobs, buyer beware, because there's just not that much, like there's not that much material here. So I can only imagine if I really had serious boob, like I'm probably gonna be falling out of the top or falling out of the bottom. So I think it's perfect for someone with a little bit of a smaller chest, but maybe you still want some arm coverage. I also picked up the skirt, which I thought was so cute. They have different versions, but this one was speaking to me. I always love a good ruching situation, um, especially when it's up to me how much ruching is happening. This is, this is a good time. This is so fun. This is really cute. I've worn lots of things like this in the past. It makes me very comfortable. Having like that little bit of extra coverage on the sides, I love that it is adjustable so you can make the front go down longer or even higher up if you want. It has obviously now a full booty coverage. I can turn around and show you the back. Is lime green the most flattering color on me? Maybe not, maybe not love, but I still think it looks kind of cute, right? Which, should I keep it? Should I keep it? Tell me, should I keep it? <laughs> Cause I'm gonna keep it girl, this one I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep it, it's cute. But you tell me if you think I should keep it. Okay, we are moving on to Good American now. So I really like the top. I think it's really cute, nice little um, bikini top. I've always liked tops like this. Normally I would just pair it with like something nice and high-waisted. And I've always liked the smaller, daintier kind of, like if I'm gonna have a little cutie pie moment, it was always gonna be on top, you know? Um, I pulled it on, but I think there's a clip, there is a clip back there. <laughs> but I just pulled it on over my head. I like the material, it's nice and thick. It does have a lining. It's cute, I will say. This is from, Airy, okay now off the top of my head I don't know the price difference but these 
are the exact same materials, just FYI, okay? So just know that like, hey, if maybe Aerie has a better option for the bottom, but you're really digging the top. <laughs> just know that the interchangeability is there, honey, so just be advised. These ones are a little bit more high-waisted. Obviously, we have more coverage here in the front. We have more coverage on the butt. They would definitely accommodate a little bit more um, belly in the front. There's definitely some space down here. The, ta the tags say I got size five, six. I'll, I'll do the, all the little, you know, I'll give you all the info and everything down below, but um, yeah. What do you what do you think about this one? And while you think about it, I'm gonna put on one of the cover-ups that I bought. Uh, this I got in the size four. I'm not super familiar with the sizing. I have worn um, Good American stuff in the past, but uh, I bought it right when it first came out many years ago, and I had a bad experience because of just the price and the quality for me wasn't there, but I will say that it's been many years and I'm sure things have improved. Okay, I thought that this cover-up was very, very cute. I like that it has like the little knot here on the side, pull it up a little higher, go a little longer. Um, I feel like I'm not quite long enough, <laughs> long enough. I'm not quite tall enough for it. Honestly, I don't know. I'm not obsessed with it, but it's, you know, it's a cover-up. And I don't know if I like where it's hitting me. It's kind of me trying to figure out like what's the best place for things to fall on my body now. I don't know yet. I haven't figured it out. Okay, anyway, do you like the swimsuit? It is very comfortable. I do like it. The cover-up I think I could do without. This top was shown in both tie styles, right? So you guys have seen where you tie it kind of how you would typically tie it, which is like this, where you have the thick strap going up, you have the triangles kind of coming down, and it's your classic sort of string bikini top. You have the skinny string being tied in the back, the thicker one around the neck. And this would be like the inverted version of that, where you have the skinny part coming up and around, and it creates kind of a different look on the chest. And you don't have the big triangle coming up. Instead, you have the triangles going out to the side, creating a little bit more coverage on the side and then you have the thicker part being tied in the back now to be totally honest with you i don't like it either way <laughs> this top is not for me i have high standards when it comes to my swim i have no problem showing you guys a bunch of different stuff and and letting us have fun and you know judge the different swimsuits and stuff but i have pretty high standards when it comes to what i'm actually wearing on my body when i'm out in the world in front of other people so exposed, I have very high standards. I need to feel extremely good. Thus far, I have not felt extremely good in any of these, but it's still fun to look at. So <laughs> let's talk about the bottoms. I think visually, this is one of the better looks on my body. So same size for both of these. There is a little bit more coverage, um, obviously in the front here, and I feel like my butt is definitely a little more exposed in these ones. They're comfortable, however, they are definitely more fitted than the previous pair. So if you're looking for a little extra wiggle room, she's not it for you. She is gonna have you sucked and tucked up in there. I'm a cover girl girly, okay? You guys know with FTF I had released um, that like very shimmery. It was very similar to this, except mine was more, um, it wasn't shimmer like this as much as it was, it was rhinestones. It was like, but ow in your face so they only have two sizes they have zero through four which is like extra small to large or extra large and then they have xxl to 5x i think so i had to get the smaller size because the other one was sold out at the time it might be back now i don't know but i was like that's fine cover-ups are cover-ups they work for everybody okay i'm starting to be a little cute in this one just a little bit though i'm feeling a little bit cute in this one but it's really because the cover-up and you know what that makes a difference because i wear a cover-up when i'm like at the pool or the beach or whatever i do wear a cover-up so um, okay i'm on the fence push me one way or the other which way should i go also which way did the top look better because i'm kind of leaning towards the second way right moving on to airy one of my faves i think they have really nice swimsuits and catch them on a sale i buy way too many things from american eagle <laughs> at full price but then whenever i see it's on sale i let you guys know on my instagram and you guys go ahead and scoop it up let me show you something i just paid full price for i was in there buying my daughter clothes the other day i saw this this is an extra large get out of my face get out of my face this is an extra large Okay, this is pushing 2x, 3x here, all right? And I'm talking like plus 2x, 3x. It's adorable. I paid full price. If it's on sale, I will link it. So comfy, so cozy, so adorable. It, it's wonderful, okay? Queen Tour, 75. Love it. They only sell it to XL in the store now because they hate fat people again. I miss the days where American Eagle was like, oh, we're going to put all the little fat clothes in the store. And I was like, yes! And then they were like, psych! 
get out of here. We made you fall in love with our stuff, and now you gotta shop online, stupid. Uh, I got this stuff online, <laughs> and I like the top, actually. It does have um, some padding in it. It's not the best padding. It's kind of crinkly and wrinkly, and but it, it just kind of stops and becomes uh, just a little string bikini there in the back, so I don't hate it. I think it's... I think it's cute I like that it kind of comes down a little bit in the front so it's like you know a little longer but it's really not it's really just covering the boobs and then you have a little extra material and then I have the high-waisted bottoms on here these are the XXL's like I said that was the size I always wore my very favorite <laughs> swimsuits were from Aerie um, they were really pretty really they fit really nicely they have lots of stretch they last quite a while I really like them a lot I like it I'm not obsessed with it but I like it one thing you should know with Aerie is that if you like stupid pads bro if you like the color if you like the print they have a ton of different styles for the tops for the bottoms did I spit on y'all I am so sorry I just took a sip of my coffee girl I'm sorry but they have a lot of different styles for the tops and the bottoms I wasn't gonna show you these together but this is cute too right I mean it's the exact same material but let's switch into something a little more comfortable just kidding <laughs> It's gonna be less comfortable. Here it goes, nothing. Oh, hold on. There's something about this color. Like five, six, seven years ago, I found a swimsuit in this color from Forever 21, and I fell in love with it. And I haven't even looked at myself in the mirror yet, and I have a very small screen in front of me, but it's it's looking like this is my color. I like it. I actually really like the cut of the panty too, because I feel like it's still covering enough here. It's not too skinny and like really doing this. I don't know. I think I like it. I even like the little like side long has that it like lets out. Okay, I think this one looks cute. This is a good time for us to throw on these pants real quick. I know this is very much unrelated, but I got these from Good American. They're size 16. They have zero stretch. I'm really a size 16, 18, kind of depending. So, um, but I, I think I read the reviews on this and it said to size down, which I don't trust that because, oh, okay, hold on. I was about to talk jump, but I think, that, yeah, okay, I think they were on to something. Oh, damn. Oh, Sarah, you better not like these. They're $155, Sarah. Okay, hopefully they look bad. Oh, they do. Okay, good. They look kind of bad. Okay, they're a little bit too loose. Like, but these are a size 16, bro, and they like these definitely run real big. But I like how big they run on the on the leg. Like this is like a very loose, very very loose. Like that's the point, right? You're gonna wear a huge t-shirt. You're gonna wear these super loose pants. Damn it! Am I gonna keep these pants, dude? If you are looking for like super oversized pants that are definitely gonna fit the thighs, like the big honking thighs and the slightly smaller waist. These might be the ones for you, but they are $150, so they might not be the ones for you. They're looking like not the one for me. Not with that price tag. Get out of here. Oh, I was so excited to try this one out because I love the... <laughs> oh, no. I was so excited to try this out because I love the style of it. Um, why don't I like it, guys? I didn't adjust the ties yet. Is that why? Okay, not sure why. Not feeling my, not feeling my best in this one, but I really do like it. If you have some tummy girl, this is so good. I freaking love this style. I had it previously in like other years with different, different material, different prints, but I love this style. I love that it connects because it kind of feels like a two piece, but it's still one piece, but it's really easy to get out of because you just have a tie over the neck and a tie in the back. So there's not a lot of back coverage if you are looking for like support in the back. None of these were really for that. Um, yeah, I don't feel the best in this, but I do like that there's some padding here. I like that the, I feel like the cuffs are a solid size, like a bigger chest could definitely fit in here, but probably not too big without getting a little scandalous because like I said, this is the XXL. Overall, I mean, I think it's a good fit. I like that there's some solid booty coverage I just don't think that it's not making me feel my best so I, I I don't see myself keeping this one I don't see myself like ever reaching and wearing for this one and being excited about it and I need to be excited about it otherwise it'll just go to my drawer to die <laughs> oh, I thought I was gonna like it I don't even like how I feel and I haven't even like seen myself in it so I don't hate this style of top um, in fact, I normally like them, but I like them when they come down slightly further and American Eagle normally has some that come down a little bit further and I think that they're very comfy and cozy and lovely. Not this one necessarily though. So this one ties in the back, um, little, you know, the straps are kind of thick. It has ruching in the center. It is a higher waist, but I like that it's like this sort of like angled cut. I actually find it to be very cute. I've always liked this cut. And um, this one is a little bit higher on the hip though. So normally I would look for one a little bit lower on the hip, but this still has that triangular kind of arrow like pointing down cut. This is how they do their leggings and yoga pants. 
flared leggings, whatever. But this is how they do them, and I freaking love them. I wear them like every single day almost. If I'm not wearing sweats, I'm wearing Aries yoga pants and leggings, and I love it. I think it's very flattering, very, very, very comfortable. I dig it. Will I keep this one? Honestly, I'm not sure. I guess looking at myself, it looks fine. It doesn't make me feel incredible, but it looks fine. Um, you should feel good in your swimsuits, and if you do enough looking and hunting and searching, and order it and return it, and we're heading there now, okay? I'm running late for my lunch date. You know, you're gonna be able to find something, something, very much something, okay? You're gonna be able to find something that makes you feel good, and that is seriously, like, half the battle. You just by yourself in your own little room, in your own little bathroom, in your bedroom, in your closet, you need to feel good on your own, in the swimsuit or you're not going to feel good when you're actually out in the world or you're going to be less inclined to actually wear a swimsuit or actually participate in pool and water and beach activities and things of that nature. So I try to like clock how I feel when I'm wearing a swimsuit. I don't feel incredible in this one right now. Maybe later I'll feel different. I don't know. I am pretty hungry. So maybe a lunch will have me feeling a little different. But um, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of all these little swimsuits. I'll link everything down below. Thanks again to Dermaclara for sponsoring that first part of this video. I appreciate it. I have been enjoying the patches. So if you guys want to try them out, then I'll have that information below. And don't forget, you can use that code Sarah Ray. Get yourself an extra 20% off, which really makes them 50% off because they're already 30% off. And then you get the 20% off and that's 50% pretty much. How are they making money? <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.